ever thought I'd uh, find a, movie, a, a video that would enrage me this much to do a, a response this early in the morning. And like, literally, this is a work day. You're lucky that I'm lucky that I got time to be able to do this. Alrighty. Mr. Simple, I object to your thing about uh, dating in D&D. &D. Before you start arguing, I play the superior version of D&D. &D. Not the Super Weenie Hut Juniors of D&D, &D, i.e. 5th Ed. Let me tell you something about dating in D&D. &D. Why'd you come here? A little closer. I don't care about dating in D&D. &D. You want to know why? Very, very simple. Romance is either the bottom of the list or non-existent when it comes to me playing D&D. &D. I play D&D &D for the heroics and the do daring in the name of daring do. That's it. I am not looking to snoo snoo whatever NPC they want to fling my way or get help or do like uh, romantic gestures. The times I do, which is going to be like very rare, and a DM find this out the hard way, it's more out of I will still be nice. I will still bring flowers to a dryad. More out of we come in peace. Here's some lovely, here's a lovely gift. But I couldn't care less about the thing. And yes, I know what you're going to say. You're automatically going to go point back to your thing about if I'm dating an NPC, I'm dating the DM. No. I'm a straight guy. If the DM's a straight guy, we're a gay guy. I know for sure I'm not dating like DM. But I also ran into the problem of what happens if there's somebody dating the DM, dating or married to the DM. I had that happen before. That they either like granted the one this one time, like the, my second to the last session of fifth ed, I was playing a dragonborn wizard, just more out of I wanted to attempt doing kind of like a Gandalf. Knock off just for uh, Gandalf is a fun wizard. Who wouldn't want to? Who would, wouldn't want to hang out with Gandalf? Even if it means like uh, world in, world ending battles. The DM either hinted from his wife or the one I mainly suspect, the player of our cat folk. Warlock suggested to do a gay subplot, romance subplot with my character and a NPC gnome uh, magic item merchant. I politely declined because at the time we we're on a quest and I am going to focus on the quest. Out of character, I told the DM I don't swing that way. Fortunately, he took the hint. I never had a problem with it. I suspect that's probably also the reason why that group kind of fell apart because I didn't because I was not interested in romance. Part of the same reason why if I'm playing a fighter I have a sword. Let me do my job. I will still do save the day. I will still do do the daring. For the daring of do. I have no problem with rescuing the girl. Just don't be surprised that I'm like. Much appreciated. But I'm needed elsewhere. Because again. There is more on, down the line. 
your little beach episode. Yes, I'm calling it as it is. Beach episode. If you were to throw a character of mine in it, I will do exactly three things. I will go to the, the uh, most quiet spot I could find away from the party. The actual party, not the adventuring party. Because the adventuring party would probably either be close enough to keep I was going on or probably involved to where involved to the other activities where I at least like try to keep visual on me. I will go fishing. If the giant crab attacks, I will fight that giant crab. Free food. Come on, a crab that size who's not going to eat it. And yes, I will make sure it gets slain before somebody decides I'm gonna stick my dick in it. Not to mention, I will reject any advances because I will be focused on the task at hand, which for me, for that particular beach episode, is going to be fishing. And it's like, again, I do understand. We are social creatures. We like contact. Well, guess what? The table, where I'm immediately at, Playing 3.5 is going to be my social interaction. I'm actually interacting with people. I don't need fake interaction outside of... Okay, where's the monster? I'm ready to roll. This is where my a friend of mine did it best when it come when it come to uh, romance uh, to uh, romancing uh, my characters. This is how I like doing it. It was like I will still do what I normally do: go in, save the day, and most of the romancing happens off screen. And whenever he wants to bring up what happened, he'll bring up the notes and I'll just roll with it. And it's like while well, the other friend, uh, well, the other uh, my other friends will, uh, will actually be more uh, inclined to actively pursue it. I, however, don't care. I will still do what's right. And we'll continue on, uh, continue on because, again, you don't pick up the sword because everything's all hunky-dory. You don't need romance in D&D. &D. If the DM wants to do a romance story in line, that is fine. That is on the DM's initiative. But I don't get experience from getting the NPC. I I get getting XP with those that I fight. That's how that works. Carpe diem. So, in conclusion, you don't need romance. If you want to do romance, it is perfectly acceptable as a side, as a, a subplot, not the main plot, and not everything has to be romantic.